All right, so I'm gonna go put this on a fire. First time doing this. Smart about myself here. <clears throat> yeah, cooking up pretty good. I get that fire a wee bit higher though. Yeah, that frozen some of our roast. Hey everybody, Mikey Kid Outdoors here. So what are we doing today? Well, I got a couple of uh, new additions to my TJM Metalworks uh, fire kits here. So I got a uh, little frying pan arm accessory here for my uh, mini fire kit. This is uh, pretty nice. I got the grill. I've got a little uh, circle thing for putting a pot on. And I've got a little hook that you can hang a pot from. But they just recently came out with the stainless steel small pan here. And it's yeah, about 7 inches across or so. Enough to cook an egg with. Maybe a couple slices of small bacon cut up. And uh, I'm going to try to fry an egg on there and see how it does. Now this one is made out of stainless steel. Most of their fire kit... At least the original one that I have is all just regular high carbon steel with an oil baked finish. Um, and they do have an actual stainless steel fire kit, but it's a bit more pricey and it tends to go out of stock a little quicker because everybody likes stainless steel. But this uh, little pan's kind of neat. They do have a big pan with their uh, large fire kit. And that fire kit just whoo, sold out real fast before I could even get one. Um, but this is nice. It gives a little flexibility to cooking stuff. You want to cook some vegetables or something in there. Little things that could fall through, you know, a regular grill normally. You could put that on there. And it gives you a little more flexibility in your cooking. So, next to this, I've got a cowboy grill that I got. Uh, I was at one of these rendezvous, you know, historical reenactment things. And I always like the old style grills that they have. So I saw one of these, and it's not the lightest piece of kit out there, but it's got some neat stuff to it. Um, you just got these four stakes here on the corners, and they got a little like U hook to them, uh, the way it's made. And you just run your flat bars, one on each side on top, and then all these grill uh, great pieces here are basically just like a little eyelet um, you know and just a flat bar so you just run all those on one bar set them down and then you can just kind of sit there with your glove or stick or whatnot you know and just adjust where you want to grill I got a little piece of a grill over here <clears throat> and then I got an empty space where I didn't put one and I could extend it just easily enough but I just kind of put the rest of them over here on the side for now so it gives you some some flexibility on you know how you want to set up your grill small or big and how far apart you want each of those little grill bars to be from each other so I'm gonna stop the uh, yapping here and start cooking so first thing I'm gonna do uh, since my doctor always accuses me of not eating healthy <laughs> yeah um, I got a salmon burger here so I'm going to put that on the grill, and hopefully that thing will cook. Might need to stoke the fire under it a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of oil in this pan and uh, get it heating up. And then I'm going to put an egg on there, which, yeah, yeah, I know, people are going to say, eggs are, but they're really not that bad for you. Got a lot of nutrients. I just think they get a bad rap. Remember, they are the incredible edible egg. So, just been chilling around outside a little bit this weekend. Um, I was kind of coughing a little bit yesterday. I was out in the cold. It was probably 20 degrees colder yesterday. I was setting up a uh, parade float. We are doing a lighted parade in town later tonight. So, uh, helped a few people out got a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments and inflatable 
decorations, all sorts of stuff, and put a Jackery power unit on there, and this little Mr. Christmas thing I got that uh, basically like, makes the lights flash with the music and provides its own little ornamental type of Christmas music, so it was kind of neat. Haven't used it for a few years, so I thought, yeah, it'd be kind of nice to use for that. Um, we're filming a few videos here today, and uh, my daughter, little helper, uh, she's been doing some acting in a play. So we had one the other night that she uh, did on Friday, and today being a Sunday, she's got a, another one. And uh, so she played the role of the blackmailing bookstore owner. Now that he's gone, yes, now that he's gone, do you have my $5,000 anymore? <laughs> Listen, you're not getting a red set out of me. Got it? And I'm prepared to tell the police everything I know. Do you understand? Uh, when you got a chance to do something, don't be afraid to do it. You know? Don't let uh, life pass you by. Try to enjoy things. And uh, don't be afraid to crack an egg or two. Well, let's see if I can flip this egg without uh, wrecking it. Whew. I need my glove for this one. A little bit wrecked, but it's not that bad. Definitely gotta watch it though if you got any holes in your gloves. <laughs> yeah, did that earlier. I was adjusting stuff on the uh, fire and whew, got a hot finger. Oh yeah. That's nice and healthy. <laughs> well, everybody, what's the. Uh, least favorite part of a lot of camping videos watching somebody eat <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this egg before it gets too cold not too bad a little cooked in the center but uh, it'll take a little practice get the hang of that little grill kit but uh yeah I've enjoyed these uh, TJM Metalworks kits. I say they're all out of the UK. You can go straight on their website, tjmmetalworks.co.uk, or you can go through their online Etsy store and get stuff through there. Um, Trevor's got, you know, storage bags for the kits. He's got different types of grills. He's got. Uh, mini fire kit, large fire kit, you know, that you stake in the ground, um, spit roasts, stuff like that. So anything that's kind of like a primitive, nice, uh, it's not really wrought iron, but it's, you know, made out of steel uh, fire kits, they're pretty good. Um, there's really not too much of a problem getting them from the UK. Uh, might take a couple of weeks or so to get them. Uh, shipping is about the only gotcha, so when you first go through their shipping process, you might see some really outrageous shipping costs. And a lot of times that is for if it's sending to like a P.O. box or a business, but once you go through the checkout process, if you put it down for a residential address, it drops that rate down quite a bit. So if you see a high rate out there, don't be alarmed at first. But just kind of go through the cart if you're buying something from them and then just figure out, you know, roughly how much, you know, it might cost you once you get down to the end of it. Um, but, you know, all this stuff, it's, it's nice heavy gauge steel. Um, it's not going to fail on you. You do, on some of this black steel, you do occasionally have to put a light coating of, like, canola oil or something on there and bake it on nice just to give it a nice, you know, coat to protect it over time. Um, and just keep it clean. And that's really all you gotta do with this stuff. Um, I really like his metal work. And 
Now I'm looking forward to see what else he has coming out in the future. But uh, yeah, if this is something that interests you, check it out. Hello everybody, I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, took a little break, moved the grill around a little bit and uh, positioned the burger a little more over the fire. Uh, let it cook a little better and uh, it's got some Chick-fil-A mayo. I know there's probably some haters out there, but uh, they make a pretty good sandwich. I have to say that for those cats. Um, their mayo is pretty good too. So since this is a salmon burger, mayo kind of goes good with it, complements it well. And uh, it's been cooking a while. I was talking to my other neighbor for a little bit, letting him know about what happened in the neighborhood today. So um, I just had some people come by to pick up the parade float. So I'll be wrapping this up pretty shortly and getting ready to go over there, have our lighted parade. So, I'm going to see how this tastes. I always love having like, grilled salmon, salmon burgers, stuff like that. Um, we got a couple places in the area. One of them is called Sugar Fire, and they have a really nice grilled salmon that you can get on a bun. It's tasty. Mm-mm-mm. It's good. It's a lot healthier than red meat, but I still love my red meat when I can get it. But yeah, this is a nice piece of kit. Um, if something like this interests you, like I said, check it out. TJM Metalworks. And uh, let's check out the burger here. Pretty good. If you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, click that notification bell. I'll catch you again in the outdoors. As always, thanks for watching.